Bordick in the Masson broadcast booth and sum up what you saw from Rich Hill tonight. Clean question to you. <laughs> well, I mean, he looked uh, incredible, really. He was changing his arm angles on both his fastball and his slider. Actually, he had three different angles a couple times on his breaking ball. And he had command of all of his pitches, and I think that's the most important thing. The Orioles couldn't pick the release point up. He was moving it around so much, and I think his fastball had a little extra life through the zone. I think it surprised a lot of hitters there. Alvarez kept getting caught off guard, and at times he'd slow the breaking ball down. So working the fastball all around the perimeter of the zone, the breaking ball came up huge there, getting Davis to chase on the high fastball and see the extra life as it rides up and away on Walker and Reimholt can't even get on the fastball. Now the Orioles are a great fastball hitting team, but uh, it must have been that they just couldn't pick up the release point or the fact that there was just a little extra life on that 90 mile an hour heater. Nine strong innings, only two hits given up. There were only a couple balls hit hard in this ball game by the Orioles and uh, Rich Hill was out there enjoying himself throughout this ball game. There were some pretty nice defensive plays though behind him, but what a performance by Hill. You know, Mike, looking at Kevin Gosman tonight, I thought it really was one of his better efforts on the season. If you saw early on, man, he was keeping his fastball down in the zone. He made a lot of good pitches. I know he had some walks, and all of them came back to haunt him, but I thought he got queez squeezed on a couple of those walks right there. Those pitches were on the corner, could have been strikes. I thought he had a good night, although it just didn't work out for him. Yeah, I thought Kevin Gosman threw the ball well, too, and I think he's looked good uh, his past few outings. He's mixing in that breaking ball. He's getting more confidence and throwing it early for strikes, and he's, he's throwing a slow curve, and he's throwing the hard slider as well. So I think that is a huge positive for Gosman. Yeah, I think he was getting squeezed, too. I think Jim Joyce was being way too tight on Gosman. He was locating all around the perimeter, keeping the fastball down, and there were a couple close calls there that could have changed potentially the outcome of this ball game. Gosman settling in. He was he had great stuff, but unfortunately, uh, Big Poppy did some huge damage tonight, and all three of the walks that he had uh, came around to score. Mike, when you look back at the uh, scoreboard right now, Houston's trailing Texas six to nothing with a game in the uh, fourth inning. Obviously, the Orioles wouldn't lose any ground. The loss column to Houston if Houston loses, but the games are starting to dwindle to the amount where you only got nine left. That's kind of getting a little tough now right now oh yeah it's getting tough it's been tough for this team and uh you know they're kind of keeping things going as far as the confidence a great sweep there in in washington they want to try to ride that momentum up here unfortunately uh, rich hill took a little bit of the wind out of their sails they're gonna have to regroup and they just have to keep playing until there's that uh you're not in the playoffs anymore beside their name and you know this team is a resilient team they'll come back they'll play hard tomorrow Wei and chen's gonna give them a quality start and Hopefully the offense is able to uh, respond to Breslow.